Good morning. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome aboard. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, we've got a beautiful morning in Dana Point, California. The rain has stopped. Starting to clear up a little bit for us. It's gorgeous in the harbor. Captain Dave's dolphin and whale. Safari going out looking for dolphins and whales outside of Dana Point, California. Welcome aboard. I just off in the distance a little bit are three California gray whales. Let's see if we can get a good look at them. Right outside Dana Point, you can see Dana Point in the background. There are three gray whales here. And they are enjoying each other's company, if you know what I mean. Just went down here you can see their footprint where they were that's not where they are now that's where they were and they pop back up again we'll get a good look at these guys all right with dana point lit up in the sunshine there's a blow california gray whales there's three gray whales here maybe even four but we're three for sure on, on their northern migration, California's California gray whales live in the Chukchi Sea north of Alaska. They migrate 12,000 miles round trip down to the Baja Peninsula where they may give birth, begin to raise their young. And these guys have already been in those lagoons at Baja and are on their way back north to Alaska. There's definitely some mating activity going on with this group. So we really have no idea what we're going to see, what, what could happen here. Females are larger than the males by about 10 to 15 percent. The largest female is a nice fluke. Females, the largest females can be 50 feet long. Males are generally, you know, 35 to 40 feet long at the largest. California gray whales. Here we go, nice shot with a point in the background. Grab my one, we'll end up. a little sea lion come to join us. Get ready. Get as ready. the whales are Get up. up. Toward the point. And that's Dana Point in the background. There she blows. That's a big one there. Big one. Sunshine would go a long way here. Remember, there are three whales here. That's a big whale right there. Pretty close to the size of this boat. A full grown female, most likely. Females can go up to 50 feet long, males about 35 feet long. There we go, there's two. That's a big whale, too. Pretty awesome. Three California gray whales. Got some common dolphin here that are actually right on the path of the whales. So these guys are probably playing with the whales. There aren't a lot of them here, but the whales are very close and so are these dolphin. The whales are still really close, guys. 
and see if we can see some interaction between the whales and the dolphin. Well, they come up on the other side. I have no idea. They're kind of relaxed. They're not really doing anything. You can see how close gray whales travel to the shore. This is Strands Beach in Dana Point. And we're in less than 100 feet of water. There she blows. Gray whales tend to travel inside of 200 feet of water. They're bottom feeders, so they don't get too far or too deep. They get, stay pretty close to the coastline which is why they're so famous, right? Because people from the beach can see them when they're traveling. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Oh, nice little tail. It's a little shaky here. We really don't know. I'm trying to get by the markings on the whale. The gray whales eat out of the mud. They go down to the bottom of the ocean, take a big scoop of mud, and sift out all the amphipods, tube worms, brittle stars, things like that that they can that they eat. Sift that through their baleen, push all the water in the sand, all the stuff they don't want out, and they eat all those amphipods and tube worms. Unfortunately for them, there isn't any of that food south of Oregon so for about you know four or five months of this trip they don't eat at all they can lose 30 percent of their body weight during the course of this migration Got a few common dolphin here, and there aren't a lot of them, but there are a few. Hopefully, we can get a good look at these guys. These are long beaked common dolphin. And we'll hang on here, see if we can get a better look at them. There aren't very many of them here, but they are bow riding. Folks are getting a pretty decent look at them in the underwater viewing pod. These are long beak common dolphins. You can see these dolphins skimming across the surface here. They are actively catching fish on the surface here. These guys are pretty fast. Yeah, they can go really fast. Short, for short distance, they can go 40 miles an hour easily. They can go 20 all day long. So they're kind of crawling. We're trying to keep up with them, and they're still really not moving very fast for them. Common dolphin eat small little bait fish like sardines, anchovies, little finger-sized fish that they can swallow whole. They have teeth in their mouth, but they don't use it to chew. They just grab it and swallow anything they can get whole.
here we are. We are approaching some California sea lions on this green buoy. And we know these guys are California sea lions, not seals, because we're in California and we can see them lying on a buoy. Now, there is some truth to that goofy joke because sea lions, have, or excuse me, seals have rotating back hips that allow them to climb onto these buoys. Seals don't. Seals just kind of flop on their bellies and would not be able to get up on this buoy. And if you hear Captain in the background, I'm kind of repeating, but sea lions also bark. Seals don't. So when you hear barking, you know it's a sea lion. Male sea lions can be 750 pounds. The females, 250 pounds. There's one swimming in the water hoping to get up on there. Sea lions climb up on these buoys to warm up, dry their, dry their fur out. They do most of their hunting during the eat at night and kind of hang out during the day. And they eat all kinds of fish. They eat just about any fish that they can catch. We've seen them eat sharks and eels and bottom fish, all kinds of different things. These are California sea lions.